थैंक यू सर part of the welcoming ceremony of Indian Coast Guard ship Shanak, which has just arrived in Chennai today. I like to thank the Form CG Coast Guard Region East, Sri Rajan Bargotra, for this very special honor. It's a matter of great strategic advantage that Region East is now endowed with one more 105 meters offshore patrol vessel that will soon be patrolling the open waters of East Region East. The state of the art in navigation equipment and the 30 meters CRN 91 short range guns makes this ship extremely powerful to deal with the various challenges in the east in the EEZ of East Seaboard. The provision for the twin engine light helicopter and the quick reaction inflatable boards will enhance the search and rescue capability for the benefit of fishermen who go missing in the sea. In the light of the recent oil spill and the difficulties encountered to compare it, the pollution response equipment attached with this ship are more modern and hence they give us the assurance of quick response. I am especially honored to be here in this August function as the state police is now a partner in coastal defense of our country ever since the commissioning of the coastal security scheme. The coastal security group which was established in 1994 is the first police force meant for the coastal security in any of the nine coastal states and union territories of the country. Coastal Security Guard has evolved from an intelligence unit to a patrolling subsidiary to a striking force. But today, we are capable of low intensity conflict in sea with the establishment of the Marine Commando Unit. It is these men who carried out exemplary rescue of more than 1,000 people in the December 2015 flood in Tambaraman, Mudichur. These men are trained with Indian Coast Guard and the Marcos of the Indian Navy. Innovative measures were taken up in the, in the CSG in the last five years. 500 fishermen were inducted in the CSG as marine home guards. 24 all-terrain vehicles were pressed into service to patrol the sandy coast. 20 more police stations were commissioned. 20 more 19 meters fast interceptor boards are to be inducted very soon. One of the profound novelty is the induction of a serving officer from the Indian Coast Guard to the Coastal Security Group. Commandant Sri Uday Kumar Chaudhary of Indian Coast Guard joined the rank of Coastal Security Group and he converted the Coastal Security Group into a very active sea patrolling unit. The boarding operations, which were just 31,000 in 2014, shot up to 44,700 in 2016. That means every fishing board were boarded at least once by the officers of the Coastal Security Group. 
I take this opportunity to thank the Indian Coast Guard headquarters for deputing Sri Vidhik Mahachow to the Indian Coast Security Group. We have recently introduced a very, very interesting and innovative program for the children, which probably the officers of the Coastal Security of the Indian Coast Guard will, will be very glad to know. This program is called the David Marine Police. The children from schools from the coastal areas, particularly the corporation schools, they spend a day with us and carry with them everlasting memory of the police, which also includes a sailing experience in the same harbor, as well as an introduction to various firearms which are used in the police. I welcome the Indian Coast Guard ship, most modern and one of the most prestigious ship to Chennai. I congratulate the commander of the ship, DAG Sri T. Sashi Kumar, TM, and all the officers and men on board the Indian Coast Guard ship, Shana. ICGS Shana will sail off from here very shortly. On behalf of all the guests, the serving and their officers who are present here, may I wish the ICG ship Shanak fair winds and following seas. Thank you very much.